I'm John Frazier with the Players Travel Experts YouTube channel. Welcome to this edition of 360 Tours, where we're going to be taking you around the beautiful port in Grand Turk. Come join us. So the watercolors here are amazing. We've actually had some rain today, so the water is not as calm and clear as usual, but you can still see the bottom. And this is part of the beach that's right here along the port. So you don't really need to go anywhere here. We did do a tour. We may talk about that a little bit as we go, um, but there's plenty to do right here at the port. of the bars and restaurants they play the best music over here i think i could stay here all day long drinking and eating it's a pretty awesome and fun place to hang out to my left you'll see the mardi gras ship we're done over there on the dock and over to my right you can pan your camera over they have a whole little grove that's dedicated to the space program and Grand Turk's role in the space program. A lot of the missions splashed down around Grand Turk. So uh, Neil Armstrong, John Glenn, Alan Shepard, I think all of them landed in and around here on the Mercury and the Apollo missions. So they have a lot of different uh, old little reminders of the space program that you can check out. shopping as well. area right off of the pier. You get to this area here with the fountain. This is where all of the excursions pick up. Uh, if you book them through Carnival, they'll pick up in the morning. Pretty easy to find. Lots of people out here in the morning to so help you. He's already on the boat. More shopping up there. That's the exit that we're coming up on over here. I want a guide for it's a very small island, so it's very easy to get around. Uh, there's not a ton to see. There's a straw market off property. Uh, it's a very small one. There's a lighthouse you can go and see on the opposite side of the island. That's pretty cool because you can actually see where the Caribbean meets the Atlantic. So that's a pretty nice um, little excursion to go over. We took a Junkanoo tour. Uh, had a colorful party house. It was a lot of fun to go on that. They served as rum favorite part of that. But they also gave you a little bit of the history of the island, showed you around. The population of the island is only around 12,000, so it's not a real big island here. So this is the Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville for Grand Turk. Um, 
and a huge pool out back. Shop area over to my right. Left. Right, here's where the party starts. As you can see, the pool area is huge here. <laughs> there are private cabanas over them all right. You can spin the camera. You see what those look like. Here's a flow rider here. <laughs> Not running <right> today. <laughs> so you've got the flow rider over here. It's not running today, but flow rider is where you do the surfing simulation. And then of course we have the beautiful beach over here, which hopefully I can find. But this water is so clear, it's so clean, it's amazing. It's some of the clearest water I've seen in a long time. There's lots of snorkeling excursions. They say you can snorkel off of this beach over here. We went snorkeling on a different uh, excursion. We went over to Governor's Beach. It is uh, really nice. It's about a mile and a half away. There's no way to walk to it. You have to take an excursion. You can go out and get a taxi cab. The excursion that we took actually stopped there. Not a lot of fish to see on there. We did see a school of barracuda, which is pretty cool. But uh, not a lot of the tropical fish you normally see around reefs because there's not a lot of reefs in that particular area. So if you want to see a lot of tropical fish, I would recommend a snorkeling expedition or excursion. So all of these chairs are complimentary. Over here, if you want to get one, you got to get out pretty early in the morning, especially if you're on one of the larger ships like Mardi Gras. There's almost 6,000 people on there on our particular trip, so these fill up pretty fast. So you can walk down this beach here pretty far. Uh, there's different little restaurants and things. I do believe if you want to sit in front of one of those, I do think there is a charge for those because they're owned by different people. This isn't all Carnival's property. But they have a cool little big obstacle course out here for the kids, or big kids. And you can see this gorgeous beach.
last thing to note about the fort is that your drink packages, your food packages, they're not gonna work here. Everything is gonna be an extra charge. So you are gonna need to bring cash uh, with you when you come on shore here, because you can't put the drinks and things on your CPAS cards. See that beautiful water here in the church. Thanks for checking out this episode of 360 Tours. If we've inspired you to travel and you're not already working with a travel advisor, consider giving our team of travel professionals an opportunity to help you plan your next great adventure. If you like our videos, give us a like down below. We love to see your comments and make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the latest content. Until we see you again, travel and be well.